Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Casual Construction Series. And uh, I am bringing you back now because I went out to get some water. And when I came back, we had a, a, a running horde show up right at the house. So we need to dispatch them. So that uh, they don't wreck our house or give us trouble while we're doing our stuff. So I think there might be a couple more Zika Roos right around the corner. Yeah, there's one there. Uh, but we're going to keep working on the house here in this episode. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do first. Oh, that hit the the base. Didn't time that very well, did I? Alright. I think that's probably the majority of them. Any more around this way? Yeah, there's there's a bow right there. Oh, there's a few more. Nurse Nancy. Okay. Come here, bow. That it? Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Nope, there's an Edgar over there. He might just be a wander, wandering around Zombo, though. I'm not part of that horde. We'll pop him anyway. Okay, let's go get our bike. and um, We're going to make a couple things in the house before we head up to the, the build site. Uh, one of those things being um, some more mineral water. So I went out and got some goldenrod, some, some coal, all the stuff we need for that. Uh, so let's see. Let's grab the coal, and we're going to need goldenrod and chrysanthemum. I think that's it. And the water, of course. So uh, we'll put a little wood in there, and then pure mineral water. It's a beautiful thing. So we'll, we can make 11 of those. Beautiful. Okay, so we will put uh, that back in there. We'll put this back in here for now. And I think I'm just going to put the rest of the dirties in here for the moment. Okay, so we found a whole bunch of aloe in the last episode. We did that um, kind of Spanish uh, style house that has the big, you know, medical lab thing under underneath it where... They were supposedly experimenting on people or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway, there's a whole bunch of meds in that place, though. So. Uh, so we're doing really good on medical. In fact, speaking of medical, uh, we can make another 13 uh, big med kits. We're going to need um, three more of the bandages. Why am I crouched? No need to crouch, man. No need to crouch. Okay, so let's make three more of these. I think that's all we need for those, right? Medical first aid kit. Oh, and sewing kits, too. Okay, so... Um, there's our 13 sewing kits right there. Okay, so let's pop these in. Are we making... Oh, wait. I thought I made... Oh, I needed to make four bandages, right. Silly me. There we go. Now we should be able to make 13 medical kits. Uh, med, or first aid kits. That's going to take 50 seconds. So yeah, we got plenty of bird time effect. Let's take one of those out, back out of there. I'm going to put, um, do, are we thirsty? Eh, we're not too terribly thirsty. I'm going to put those in there. Let's just drink, um, since we're just a little thirsty, let's just drink a normal water to top that off. And let's throw back, I don't know, a chicken ration uh, just to top our food off here. I still have one more uh, meat stew, but I want to kind of hang on to that for when we get really hungry. Um, 
Yep, that got all our water all the way back up. Cool. Put those in there. Okay, so I think we're done here. Let's head on up to the base. I, I went ahead and just converted the clay that was in here back to clay. So, um, you know, that we don't waste it. I wonder if I should have actually left some of that in there in case we still need to use this forge. Oh, that was Yeah, damn it. I should have left it in there. Well, whatever. We'll just leave that clay there. If we need to put some back in, we will. But otherwise, I've pretty much emptied all the resources out of this forge so we can pick it up and take it. But I actually don't want to do that quite yet. I want to leave these three crafting stations here just a little longer until we permanently, you know, move up to our new place. Look at all those first aid kits. It's a beautiful sight. So we got a stack here. We'll keep an extra stack in our inventory. And um, I think we're good. You know what? Since we're doing that, let's put the pills in here just to save, save that slot. I need to try and remember to uh, take this to uh, on Horde Night. Oh, I know what else I was going to do for you guys on camera. We're going to make some vault doors for our, our Horde base. So I know we're going to need springs and steel and mechanical parts. What else Whoops, do we need? A vault hatch, rather. Oh, that's it. Just those three things. So it only actually takes 12 forged steel to make one of these. Um, so that means we're going to need 48 to make four. Let's actually run over to the horde base really quick and take a look at it. So I think I had, I think I had four uh, bars there the last time. We found a purple sledge, robotic sledge, in the last episode. If you didn't catch that, and I also found the schematic for a robotic turret. All right, so if we did a hatch here, one, two, three, four. So we can, if we take this out, we could do a total of five hatches in here. Man, it would take them forever to break through five fully upgraded steel hatches. <laughs> it really would. Oh, you know what, too? I think the traders reset today, too, so we could buy more steel from them. Because I want to upgrade, um, I want to upgrade these little bars to steel as well. So let me think about this for a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, what the hell? Let's make. Let's go ahead and make five hatches. And um, I'm not going to have enough steel to fully upgrade all five of them, but um, I think each level of a steel or a vault hatch is seven thousand hit points, so it's pretty damn stout even when it's not upgraded. But uh, hopefully between the three traders, you know, we can find, we can buy more steel from them. I mean, I can go wrench light post too, but that just takes so damn long. And we're doing pretty good on coins, so. Um, Alright, so looks like we have everything we need. So let's, how many, we can make eight in total, but we don't want to do that. Let's make five of these. And then, like I said, hopefully we can find some more steel to then get them upgraded and also some steel to upgrade those bars where I'm at. And that's going to be a pretty stout setup. Probably not expecting to have any difficulty at all on Horde 28, which is tonight, by the way. So we're going to... We, we want to make sure that we don't uh, spend too much time uh, building so we get back here in time you know, for the Horde Knight. In fact, now that I think about that, let's just double check our ammo situation. So we got plenty of 762s. Uh, we've got three stacks of pipe bombs plus seven more. Uh, I'm going to actually use those. I figured out why it was screwed up on us last time. We're, we're kind of low on shotgun shells, though. Hmm. Well, we might have to rely on our AK a little bit more this time. But if we can use more pipe bombs, too... That, you know, that'll reduce the amount of ammunition that we have to use. Well, let's make um, as many 
The other thing I suppose we could do is we could go to the paper mill. I have to remember where it is. It's in one of these towns and get some paper, but that's going to take some time. This is supposed to be a building episode. <laughs> so, um, yeah, probably won't do that. We'll, we'll just make do, you know, with the one shotgun shells we have. We've got tons of 7.62s. We've got a good supply of pipe bombs, so we should be okay. Uh, particularly if we use the pipe bombs as, uh, as much as we can. We just have to make sure that we're not holding the pipe bomb in our hand when the one that we threw ignites, because that will then cause the one that we're holding to detonate. Okay, so guys, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to have a turn in... Uh, we have a turn in for Trader Hugh also from that last quest. So I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride over to Trader Joel and wait for him to open. And then I already got all that. Check his inventory for steel. And then we'll come back, we'll do Trader Hugh's turn in and then check his inventory for steel, and then we'll go run down and check. Trader Bob's inventory for steel before we actually get back up to building. But I'm going to cut all that traveling out, so I'll just show you guys the the, the part at the trader. So I'll see you over at uh, Trader Joel. Okay, let's check Trader Joel out and see what he's got. just the thing for what's ailing you. Um, yeah, we got our lucky looters on. Okay, so, um, military armor schematic, do, 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 marksman rifle, orange, automatic weapons handbook, you can craft drum mag, yes, please. Oh, we left our coin in the, in the bike. <laughs> cool, so we can craft the drum mod now. Oh, man, that's going to be great. That is going to be great. I just looted a, a bunch of concrete and stone and cobble and stuff at that. The construction site that has the bear underneath, you know, um, while I was waiting for the trader to open up. In fact, while we're here, let's just throw... I uh, hit some gut piles and stuff like that, too. I found these uh, purple scrap boots while we were doing all of that. So we might as well... Um, let's repair those. We'll pop a sugar butts and we'll sell them. And then we'll also buy with the discount, too, because we're going to get that magazine, if nothing else. what we got here. I don't know if this affects the vending machine, actually. I'm not sure. You know, we should really save these and put some extra mods on before we sell them. I think I'm going to do that. That will get us uh, a lot more money. We don't need jailbreakers. Okay. All right, so we want the automatic weapon handbook for the drum magazine. I don't care about Spear Hunter Volume 2. Lucky Looter Volume 7, find more medical supplies and loot. We'll buy that just so that we can, you know, learn all all seven of the magazines for the bonus. Um, this isn't bad, but I, what, what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to respec at some point, and I'll put all the points into... Uh, light armor, and then we can just make a nice set of military armor at that point if we haven't already, you know, found it through loot. Okay, let's look at his main inventory. He's got a 2x scope mod, but not super interested in that right now. He's got a chainsaw schematic. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're, we're, we're buying this. In fact, we're buying this too. Nail gun schematic. Nice. We don't really need the chainsaw schematic. Well, looks like I already know it anyway. Shotgun parts, steel gloves, pistol. Okay, um, so he doesn't have any steel, huh? Wow. Okay, come back sometime. let's go check the other two traders, see if we can get there before our sugar butts runs out. Probably didn't time that as best as I could. I mean, we'll have no trouble at all getting to Trader Hugh. Yeah. If we really hurry, we could probably get down to Bob, too, before it runs out. Okay, man, I hope you have some steel. What do you need? Well, you did... Uh, okay. Uh, we so already I know this. That's 412. That's 544. Yeah, I think, we're, I think we'll take this. 
All right, next job. Um, we need to go back to Trader Joel's town for the next job, which means we want to go west. So we'll take this clear. I don't trust you. Business but strip old one. Is that the one we just did? I can't remember if it is. We'll just do it again. Okay, let's take a look at this inventory really quick, and then we got to move. We want to get down to Joel before, I mean Bob, before we run out of stuff. Um, Night Stalker volume three, blade weapons do two percent more damage. Night. Mm, I, I want to get Night Stalker, you know, the bonus for it, but let's hold off on that. <laughs> He's got the drum magazine book too. How about that? Okay. Let's look at his full stash. Okay, here's some steel. Let's buy all that. He's got a couple marksman rifles, but they're really crap level. Okay, that is Was it. There something else? Um, let's let's just move. I'll read those when we get to Bob. Uh, do you want that and that and all of these and that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got two minutes and 23 seconds left. How goes it? It goes. All right, let's look at your secret stash first. You got the full truck, SMG 5 schematic. Magnum Enforcer 3, last shot in the chamber does double damage. Lucky Looter Volume 7, find more metal. Oh, we already have that, don't we? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's look at his normal stash. Man, they all, they don't have much for us this time, do they? In the, at least in the way of steel. Boy, you know, it's tempting to maybe just earn the money and buy that outright and not mess with trying to make it. Shock Gum Asylum Volume 1. Shotguns do 10% more damage. We don't know that. We're going to buy that. Um, okay. Do we want to make one of these? The nice thing about them is they shoot 9 mil, so they're so much less expensive to shoot. Um, ah, what the hell, it's only money, right? It's only money. Okay, well, it's been a real we didn't pleasure. get as much um, out there. steel as I was hoping we would get out of these guys. 10% more damage on our shotguns. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, we got the impact in the nail gun. I want to actually... What time is it? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I want to go back and make that nail gun because we're going to actually be doing a bunch of upgrading and uh, it would not be nice to have the nail gun to do that. Uh, I think I'll leave the rest of that there. Well, okay, so... I think what we're going to do um, regarding the steel is, you know, we'll put the hatches down and maybe hopefully we have enough to upgrade them at least one level. And that'll probably be fine because, I mean, it's going to take them, it's going to take some doing for them to break through five steel hatches. <laughs> it really is. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to be throwing pipe bombs down their gullet. And blowing them to smithereens. So, what I'm going to do is go back home. I'm going to make the nail gun specifically. We'll, I'll worry about the impact driver later, unless I have all the stuff to make it right away too. But I'm going to make the nail gun in particular because I want to use that, like I said, for uh, doing some upgrades. While we're in the neighborhood, though, we are going to stop off at the build site and drop a few of these resources off. Um before we go make the nail gun because I don't think I have everything here to make it since most of our stuff's still back at the the original house let's just drive up here Um, I don't really necessarily want to keep any of this up here for now. Maybe the iron in case we wanted to, um, you know, get some iron smelting. Mostly just want to drop off the cement and all that stuff. So let's get that dropped off. 
Um, and the iron, I guess. I think that's it. For up here. So what I, what the plan is, is uh, we're going to upgrade the foundation and then we're going to set our crafting stations down so we can actually start using them and then continue uh, the build after that. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the, to the base first and get that nail gun made and then I'll see you guys back here and uh, we'll work. Well, you know what though, we should probably get the hatches in place and get those done so that way we can stay up here for as long as possible before we have to get down for the Horde Knight. So, yeah, we'll do the hatches first. All right, guys, we are back. Here's our five hatches, and we have uh, 71 steel uh, left, which isn't a lot. Um, I also, be, so I don't forget, I'm going to grab this Learning Elixir now because I want to take that on Horde Knight so that we get the uh, XP bonus. Um, while we're going, uh, and doing the hatches, let's get the nail gun going. So what do we need? For, oh, and I also want to get the drum mod going too. Oh crap. We need forged steel. I bet you we need forged steel for the drum mod too. Don't we? We sure do. Doggone it. Oh man. That's going to use a lot of our steel. Well, I guess... We just put the steel hatches down and we don't upgrade them. I mean, because I, I want both of those things. I want the, especially want the drum mod for, for Horde Knight. So we need polymers, oils, and mechanical parts. Polymer, oil, and mechanical parts. Let's do that first. I mean, I guess the other thing I could do is go rinse some more lamp posts. Let's get that going, and then can we also do the nail gun? We need two duct tapes and some spring. There's two duct tapes and some springs. Okay, so that leaves us with 31 steel, which I think I think we can upgrade two of the hatches, because I think it takes 12 to, to upgrade. Yeah. Hmm. What time is it? It's 10.54. I don't know, that we're, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get a whole lot of building done in this building episode. Uh, it's just kind of not working out in our favor, is it? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. While we're waiting for those two things to make up, um, let's go get the hatches put down first. And actually, if we're going to do that, we might as well bringing the ammo with us so it's already there so we're grabbing all the pipe bombs grabbing all but one stack of 762s um maybe we'll get a couple of those too let's get the grenade the shotgun shells let's grab some extra medical kits we already got the learning elixir so we're good to go on that uh i think that's all we need so let's go get all this stuff set up. We'll, we'll just make sure everything is ready to go on the Horde base so we can, you know, stay out as long as we possibly can. Oh man, I gotta bring some, I should probably bring some more concrete down here too. Pipe bombs in there. That we're going to keep with this. Okay. We should replace that with that purple sledge turret too. So we'll put that one there. And, you know, this is, since this is kind of our last stand hatch, we definitely want to, let's upgrade it twice. 
So that one's fully upgraded. So basically this sucker has 21,000 hit points in total. Um, and then, you know, if we can, we will find, uh, I might go see if I can find some more steel, um, like from some lampposts or something. Oh, I got stuck in there myself. How did that happen? Oh, uh, you know what? I think I stepped over it before it was completely open. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if I can find a few more steel lampposts. Um, you know, while we're waiting for the drum mod and the nail gun to finish. So I'll do that. I'm going to just cut the camera and then I'll bring you guys back. And hopefully, you know, we can spend the end game afternoon uh, working on the building. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. Ah, uh, shit. Lampposts. There might not be a whole lot of those left in this town. Because I've already gotten a lot of them. Alright, guys. Only managed to uh, get ten more steel. Um, we still have three minutes left on that guy, too. So let's go ahead and modify this. And we're going to remove this mod and put this one on. Oh, man, that's amazing. So how many rounds do we hold now? 58. Okay, I think we were like 42 before with the smaller magazine mod. Very nice. I might, um... I might not use the scope on Horde Knight either. So if we didn't use the scope, what would we use instead? We've got a laser sight. I already got the tripod mod on it. Um, so really our only two options are the laser sight or the... Um, uh, hunter mod, that's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> we don't need to put a full auto mod on this weapon because it's already fully automatic. I guess it's almost six and one half dozen the other, because um, both of them are going to increase the weapon's damage. But, you know, since we're close range and we're right down, you know, going right down the tunnel there, we don't really need a scope uh, for Horde Knight. So let's take the scope off. We'll put this on. Not that I'm going to use the laser sight itself. I haven't really found that particularly useful in Seven Days to Die, because... See how much it moves around? I don't know how well you guys can see that. Yeah, it moves around a little bit too much to be super useful. I understand, and I, and I, talk. I understand why it does, but that doesn't change the fact that it's not super useful. <laughs> um, okay, so we're, we need to wait for this to finish. I'm going to just put... Do I already have an extension on this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put these mods back in here for now. This we might keep with us in the bike just so we um, don't forget to put the scope back on afterwards because I, I do want to keep using the scope otherwise. Okay, so really we're just waiting now on the uh, nail gun. 45 seconds so yeah guys uh, so we have we have a, a few hours we have a few hours and so what i'm going to do is i'll just meet you up at the build site and we will we'll do as much as we can before you know we have to get back down here for the horde night all right guys we are back at the the build site it's um 1544 so we've got a few hours uh we are completely ready to go though at least i hope you are <laughs> <laughs> in the in the horde base so you know we should be able to stay up here till probably at, mm, i'd say eight o'clock before we start thinking about heading back down all right so let's see i guess the first order of business is uh to get the floor upgraded so that we can set our crafting stations down and uh, we got a, a little over three thousand wood so yeah let's get started with that i'm just gonna upgrade it one level for now, um, well, maybe we should go two levels. Do I have my? Let's put these on for just a little, a little more XP. Well, I guess we're doing two levels. 
Yeah, we should probably do two levels. I mean, we're going to paint this anyway, so I like the the one level look of the wood a little bit better. But uh, this will make it, you know, just a little bit stronger. So here, let's pull that out. We'll hit that the corners uh, underneath too. Okay. I'm gonna also upgrade, you know, the the little walkway out here too, but let's not worry about that right yet. I just want to get the main um, house done first, or at least the floor, you know, so we can get the crafting stations put down. Nice that we finally have a nail gun too. Okay, we got another point. I think what we're going to do with that point is we're going to put it into Machine Gunner uh, for the Horde Night tonight, too. Give us just a little bit more punch. They sure slowed this thing down. It used to be faster than this. They severely nerfed it in Alpha 17 to the point where it was almost not even worth using. Um, and then they improved it in 18, but Alpha 16 and earlier is when it was really good. They should make a, a mod that you can use to, to speed it up. Of course, it doesn't have any mod slots anyway. It's got a cosmetic slot, but it doesn't have an actual mod slot. Yeah, got 4,000 XP already. Yeah, building's a pretty good, decent way to get XP in this game. can't upgrade those can we <clears throat> we can make like iron stairs but not via upgrade oh no we can we just need the iron okay in our inventory not that i'm necessarily going to do that but let's hit these two okay so hawaii 50 is still out there huh He's such a tough son of a bitch. There we go. I might end up actually lining this with wood just, just to make it look better. I don't know. I'm not going to do that right now, of course, but thinking about it, doing it. Okay, so I think... We're going to want to have a door coming out this way to the garden. And I might... Yeah, we should probably... It might be a good idea to have a door going out on all four sides, just so we can get out and not have to walk around the corner, you know, if a horde comes in later. So, that being the case... Um, that's the midsection there. Okay, so there's a doorway. 
and then we'll probably put maybe a window there. Like so. And then we can do the same thing. This is the one side that doesn't necessarily have to have a door. Well, except for the reason that I just stated. So yeah, let's just do it. Let's just plan on having a door on all four sides. Four sides. And the reason that's important, if it isn't obvious, is that way I don't place a crafting station in front of where the door would go, you know? It'll help us determine where we need to put our crafting stations. Let's just hop up here. There we go. Okay, now let's get continue working on the walls here. Might as well get those done too, so that way they're done. Okay, now we just fill it in. I really do enjoy the building in Seven Days to Die. It's uh, one of the best building building games out there, I think. Um, you know, I've mentioned this before. I also like um, Imperion Galactic Survival a lot. I uh, really like that game. And it, it's got some good building in it, too. And in, in, in some ways, better than this game. But then this game has some things that are better than Imperion, too. You know, if this is going to be even, we're going to need to do windows uh, two blocks wide, which is fine because that'll look nicer anyway. So let's pull those out and those out. The one thing that I like about um, um, Imperion is it has what's called the symmetry plane. Uh, and it basically lets you mirror um, what you build on one side. It mirrors on the other side, and it's super, super useful. I wish Seven Days had that, too. But anyway, um, okay, so we don't necessarily need to worry about the roof yet. I just wanted to get the walls in place so we can get the crafting stations down. Let's get the corners of these done, though. Okay, cool. Now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> man, <clears throat> what the hell, man? Okay, let's get um, the walls upgraded next. Is that just one Zikaru? Yeah, it's just... Go away and don't be wrecking stuff. Did he mess anything up? I don't think he did. I think we killed him before he could cause any damage. wall down. We got about two hours left. We have to skedaddle.
have any nails in here, do we? Okay. I'd like to, you know, put a, a stove and a fridge in here just for role playing purposes more than anything. And I'm not sure if that's available to us with the furniture options. So if it isn't, then I'm going to guesstimate on what the materials would be to make those and then take those materials and throw them away as if I use them and then I'm just going to cheat in those appliances from the creative menu. Uh, unless we can actually make them. We'll see what the options are. I know there are some furniture options that you can get when you make the storage box, so we'll see uh, what's available to us. Okay, well, got that that much done. So now we need to decide where we're going to put all of our crafting stations. So let's grab all of that. So this is going to be our point of entry. Um... So let's see, we have two chem benches. So what we might end up doing with those is, eh, might be nice to put them in the corner. So one there and one there. And I'm not sure what we would do in the actual corner itself then. All right, yeah, let's do that. And then I'll, when we pick up the other Kim bench and bring it up here, we'll put it up against here at that point. Um, maybe we could put, like, just a storage box in there or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure that one out later. I'll probably, what I'll do with the storage is I'll probably put it all along the wall but up uh, on this, you know, this row here. Um... I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so that's where the Kim benches are. Let's get our forges next. We're going to have a total of three forges. Um, so where's the best place to put those? We're going to stack them on top of each other. I, I kind of want to keep that area clear. So let's put them here. And when we pick up the third forge, we'll we'll put it up there. Uh, because this is going to be a three-block high room, if you haven't already figured that one out. Okay, so we'll put the, the forge there. Uh, for the concrete mixers, we got these two. Oh, wait a minute. That's the freaking uh, tool bench. Okay, <laughs> not the chem bench. All right, well, that's all right. We'll put the chem bench here then. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put the other Kim bench along this wall. So this, this will be for the two um, workstations. Uh, okay. So let's put these guys uh, here. Put those two underneath the window. And we'll leave this open so, you know, it's it's not, like, completely blocking us when we go through there. And then, so we're going to have another chem bench here. We're going to have another workbench here. What we'll probably then do is put, like, the stove and the refrigerator here up against this area once we make them. Or we could put them here. The advantage of putting them here is that they're going to be closer to the garden. Not that that really matters. Um, yeah, I think we'll put them here. I think we'll put them here. So for now, um, we'll put the fridge there because it's going to be two blocks high. And maybe we'll do like a stove and a countertop there or something. I was actually wanting to put some rails along here, though.
Railings. Metal fences, wood fences, and railings. Let's make some of those. See what the options are here. Um... Crude wood railing corner. Floating wood railing. No, I don't want anything floating. That's just the crude one. Wood railing. I think it's just this one here we want. Yeah, so we'll put those there. And then, yeah, what we'll do is... We'll, we'll probably... What we'll do is we'll do a stove and a sink uh, for those two spots. And then the fridge will go here because, of course, we don't want the fridge block in the window. And this is going to be another tool bench, and this is going to be a chem bench. Of course, the chem bench is going to block the window, but we can still kind of see out it, you know, uh, through this way. Okay, cool. So the next, I think the next thing I want to do is I actually want to go make a crap ton of storage boxes. And we're going to just line those all along, like I said, the, the third block high around the perimeter of our crafting room. Um, and then once we get those in place, we we should be able to just move move up here permanently <clears throat> and make this our, our permanent home. Uh, I think that'll that that should work. So remember, this is going to be filled in with crop plots. So this is going to be one block higher than it currently is uh, when uh, you know when we get all of those. Okay. So we got just a couple more minutes here. Let's work on our fence some more. It's almost more like a, I mean, not a fence, a wall. And I, I as I mentioned before, I'm going to upgrade all of this uh, to reinforce concrete. At least the wall part anyway, that the zombos can get to. I think we'll have a walkway along here too. And then, you know, maybe we'll have just like a little stair leading down into the garden area. Um, the other thing too, I'm going to put a, um, we're going to put iron bars, horizontal iron bars all along the edge of the wall too to, you know, keep spiders from being able to crawl up it. Okay, well, guys, I think that is it for this uh, building episode. I know it was, we didn't do a ton of building, but we did, we got some done. Uh, but I need to skedaddle and get back down to the horde base. So um, I'm going to leave you here. And when I start up uh, the next episode, it'll be a normal Let's Play episode for Horde Night 28. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, don't wipe out on the side of the mountain. And um, we'll catch you on Horde Night 28. Should be good. Bye-bye.